So today I'm going to teach you how to do UV unwrapping inside of Blender. Let's go. Okay, so step one, you can either click on the UV editing tab over here, or we can just split our scene down the middle like this, and then click on here and change to UV editor. Okay, so to UV unwrap selection model, go to edit mode, and yeah, as soon as you press A, you can see it pops up with this jumble of topology on the left. So what I'm going to do first is click on this little uh, two-way arrow and what that means is it will stay here and it will show you directly what vertice you're selecting uh, on this side and that side, okay? So, and last thing, click on this little drop down and say display stretch. So, it will make sense later. Okay, so what you're going to do, all you have to do to unwrap something is just go select an edge, so like this, control E and mark seam. Okay, and you can see it pops up with this red stuff. And if I go and press U unwrap right now, you can see it has a super stretched piece of mesh. So let's just go cut out another part. You can deselect here, there, and control E, mark seam. Okay, so now we have the like one, if we add another seam over here, or there. E mark seam. Now we just have the leg by itself. You can see over here, this is our leg, which does not look anything like this because we need to lay this flat on the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to go add a edge loop down the center, uh, an edge down the center of the well, the inside of her leg. Control E mark seam. You can see it's down the center, and then you and up. And now you can see it lays out a uh, was it a flat version of us and you can see it isn't exactly laying flat because you can see all this blue oh the, so the goal is to have everything be blue like this the bad is to be uh, like light blue or even red or green in some cases which is like really bad so what we can do to like mitigate this is either adding in more edge loops so like splitting the middle again mark seam sometimes that could help not really so you could do like you could go add just a cut like this and then you can see it like splits it off and that helps um but yeah so your goal is to get this to be as blue as possible on the left so you can also do it in here just like selecting edges and then just you unwrap okay and you can see over here, this is the opposite of what we want. We, we don't want these to overlap. Because if you texture paint it right now, then it will cover both parts of it, which is really bad. So that is not a good part for it right now. So maybe we can just go box them over here, split it down the middle. So like this, so the goal is to get like this. So you can see it's almost completely blue, which is really good. So it's just the exact same process for the rest of it. So you select, control E, mark seam. Uh, control E, mark seam. And then we can select, control E, mark seam. And then go select an edge. And you will want these seams to preferably be behind, like, well, not in the most common spot to see. So like this. And then you can see if we go add in a image texture. Yeah, new. Yeah, you can see if, well actually, let's add a UV grid, okay? If we see now, you can see this is very badly distorted. So, you can see your goal is, uh, your goal is, let's see, let's grab these. So get something like this, so you can see they, relatively straight and they look decent um what you don't want is obviously stuff like this which is super stretched and makes absolutely zero sense so you can get more complicated parts to uh unwrap which you can do so like this whole body that's kind of a bit more complicated um something i can also help is just splitting your mesh down the middle deleting it and then mesh symmetrize or um, a cool uh, add-on if you go to edit preferences and then go to add-ons you can go for mirror 
an auto mirror and what that does if you go to edit you can go auto mirror auto mirror and it automatically put sets up a mirror modifier for you okay so you can see the torso is already looking better so what we can do is press l and you can see it and you can see like here it's stretched a bit so maybe we can just go add some edge loops like this mark scene unwrap and you can see that now starts cutting in which is not good so they're cutting over each other so maybe we could clear seam uh, unwrap okay you can see that cuts into it now there so maybe just split this mark seam and then we could like undo your goal is to get it as fast as possible and yeah so that's kind of a quick tutorial on how to uv map enjoy <laughs>